Hello and welcome to another finger spelling tips video. I'm going to cover two things today. Uh, the first is going to be double letters and what to do when you have double letters. Because um, I just did a video about uh, with one that was interesting, so it popped into my head. The other one is going to be lexicalized finger spelling. Finger spelling that is, doesn't really follow the rules or skips letters, like a lot of letters, um, or has a different movement. Um, so for double letters, for most of them, you're going to slide them or bounce them. Either one is usually okay. Um, you'll get in a habit of doing it one way or the other most of the time. Um, I'm not too sure which one I do. I usually just copy the way my client spells. So if they bounce the letters, I'll bounce the letters. If they slide them, I'll slide them. Um, so example would be Tell, T E L L, T E L L. You can bounce the L L and just kind of do it twice. Or you can slide it, T E L L. -L. Um, the one exception to that rule is the letter Z. You're not going to do Z and Z or slide a Z. Like, it just looks weird. So, what you're going to do is two fingers. You can do it straight fingers or bent fingers. Um, and that would be the double Z. The most common place you're going to see that is in the word pizza, which leads into the second, uh, the lexicalized thing. You're going to see a sign that kind of looks like this sometimes, double Z-A, and that is pizza. That is a sign for pizza. Um, it doesn't always get spelled. You can spell it, P-I-Z-Z-A, um, but you'll see a lot of people skip the, begin the P-I at the beginning, um, and that's called lexicalized because it has this movement that kind of makes it look like a sign and um, it doesn't use all the letters. Um, there are a couple more examples of that. If, like this, if, where the fingers go up and down, um, that's a lexicalized sign. So it's not exactly if, like it just finger spelled if, but it's, it's got its own movement. Um, all is another one all, like all the people here, um, because you don't fingerspell with your palm away from you on, or your palm towards you on L. So that's a, another lexicalized sign that you'll sometimes see. Um, and one more is sale. You'll see it kind of done in a circle. Sale. Sale. Um, and that's another one. So you'll see sometimes these fingerspelled things that kind of look like signs, those are called lexicalized uh, fingerspelling. Um, and those, there's a lot of them. You just got to kind of learn that they're there and you got to get used to them. So I hope that helped you guys. Thanks.